And hey everybody, it's Heather Welcome back to Stellaris. Right then, last we left off. Uh, well, the pirate menace has been dealt with, at least for now. The real pirate, oh, the fake pirates, the real ones are down here with Thank over 1k firepower. Hello, trade deal. No, what? Mmm, uh, no. I needed him in the negative. <sighs> oh, fine, fine, fine. I'll, don't don't I'll, fine him. You have separate players, separate civilizations. Don't just. I can I, I, I can get more output. Be more critical. Don't just work together like I, that. I, I guess you <laughs> know I'll pay on that tenfold sooner or later. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm writing that down somewhere. Let me just there, it's written down. Uh you write swap. <laughs> well if I actually do, my my, my, my my writing is very poor. Rosak, however, has the most beautiful flowery handwriting I've ever seen. I know it's unnatural for him. I know, right? Non-existent. It's 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 ridiculous. Rosette can like if he were if if he was good at poetry, he could handwrite the most beautiful poetry. Just the, the, the combination of aesthetics. Dark. No, it's no, dark. no, it's no, dark. no. Actually, interestingly enough, I don't remember last time I have written on paper. Well, I, I had to for application. For, for, ye but... for years, for years, I have basically wrote everything on computer or telephone or anything like that. Yeah, pretty much. Even, like... even, even, even when I needed to have it on paper, I usually just paper printed it out after I wrote it on the computer. Yeah, unless someone hands me a document, I'm not going to be writing on paper. Not normally, anyway, unless I ha absolutely have to. But uh, usually I don't. Yeah, fucking Rosak. If, if he could write poetry, he would he would have not only, you know, the, the whole verbal element down, but he, he would have the visual aesthetic of his handwriting. Anyway, Limbo. The signal originates in the remains of an antenna-like structure. Ex exploratory probes were dispatched from the Lumino to the surface to investigate the matter more closely. What science officer Euphide Kaflumen found was a cavernous vault that, while right. easily pried open, was evidently the last safe house and refuge of some long-dead race of aliens. While reasonably technologically advanced, it seems they never reached the stars and perished to some planet-wide natural disaster. The vault is immense, housing thousands upon thousands of black boxes the Lumino has determined to be data storage devices. A special project has been prepared to decode their contents. Okay, um, what does that require, though? Uh, oh, light blue star, oh, three or higher. What's yours? Two. What's yours? Three. Oh. Uh, research speed. Oh, cool. Okay. So now I can get... Hmm. Oh, God. The faction found it. Not the glory initiative. God damn it. That's the faction that wants me to go to war on everyone. <laughs> Not this early. God damn it. Uh, I'll go with that for now. I, I, I would get that, but this is... I consider this a little more important, uh, tactically speaking. Okay, so are you done? Yes. Okay, go research projects and system. Okay, time my hair back in. Because you're a hippie. This has become a nervous tick for me. I, 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 I think I, I'll just unconsciously reach back, pull the thing off, and do it over again. <sighs> Form habits in the stupidest ways. Research complete. Well, research is you complete. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Share. I am actually sharing with you currently. That's not a minute, you motherfucker. Okay, well, that's. I may have lasers, nukes, and point defense lasers. Alright. Okay. But what level of laser is it? It's lasers. It's late. Look, all all his leaders care about is that they're shiny and they look cool. These are the most amazing weapons we've ever developed. Truly, we are a mighty civilization. Now, what were Star Trek again? They need my shields who have my ships who have deflectors. Yeah. Uh, what's the current? And then everything goes to shit. Yeah. Happiness, 45%. Okay. What, what, what issues? Okay, so what's your, what, what are your issues? System survey complete. I cannot look at the issues. 
It's the issues. There aren't specific. Yeah, oh, 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 we're over here. Indirect xen uh, xenology. Yeah, Legislating. You need a tissue. No. Legislating a passive study stance on native interference will please the Alien Rights Party. Passive study on native. Is that something in the uh, traditions tab? Wait, what? Legislating a. Pa or is that. A passive study on uh, native interference will please the Alien Rights Party. Or is that a government uh, stance? Is that what that is? I think it. it I think it is. Yes. Oh, that, that's that's a policy yeah. that it changed then. I think so. It shouldn't be a tradition because that would restrict you a lot. Purges being considered the, the lawful. Game okay. It wouldn't work that way. Okay, so they don't like that. I have purges legalized, and apparently I need to. Okay, so let's see. Um, Uh, no, that's not what I want. Where... Just remember that there are also other ways, uh, rather than just pleasing them, you can, I don't know, purge them. Pur purge their party members, stop the stop their party growth, anything of the like, all of the fun stuff. Wait, purge is currently elite, it's prohibited. So why are they, what? Uh, I think it's already checked. It's it's hard to see, but I oh, think oh, 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 no it's current effect. Activated. Oh, okay, it's just listed there as something that could affect them. No current effect. Uh, and indirect yeah, technology. If they suddenly, suddenly decide to have purges, they mm -hmm. will stop, they will go down to happiness. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Uh, or bombardment limited, resettlement prohibited. Our first contact protocol is peaceful. Use slavery purge. So. Limbo. The vault is a tomb for hopeful immortals. Science officer Zefolio. Zefolio. Cahill asserts that the huge blocks of Timory code found in the databanks are neural images, digitalized brain scans. Doubtlessly, the aliens of Food One are considered this to be their only shot at any kind of survival uh, following whatever calamity befell their planet. They did not have the means to resurrect themselves, but banked on the po impossibility, impossibly small hope that eventually someone else would have those means. Um, okay, what are the rewards for this? 150 engineering or 120. Uh... Construction complete. Motherfucker, that gives more words. Do that. Um, that that kind of reminds me of Soma. The whole plot hinges on like a bra your brain scan. Spoilers. Well, then I'll hope I'll a significant explanation for the Wait, game of the game. what the hell is this? What? Th that's a new star. It's a fucking small class T star. These brown dwarfs output a minuscule amount of radiation equivalent to about that of, of an oven. What the hell? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> that is around these are mainly heated by tidal energy of geothermal power. Well then. Really? It, it's small, it's black, red, and yeah. Oven, oven. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what said. The radiation output about that of an oven. I'm not kidding. That's... okay. Alright. <laughs> Wimpiest star ever. But it looks fucking terrifying, though. <laughs> well, I mean, it's fucking small. Really Don't come small. any closer, I'll cook you. But the, co <laughs> the color scheme, though. Oh, no, I'll cook you slowly. I'll, I'll, I'll reheat your canned soup. That, too. <laughs> Aliens just fly up next to it, like, uh, send out, like, a... <laughs> a fucking bowl of soup on an arm. Wait, wait five minutes, draw it back in. Ah, tasty! Cooked in the vacuums of space. <laughs> well, obviously they would have like, a covering over it, that way it wouldn't boil out into nothingness. 
cooked in the vacuums of space. You don't know what a vacuum is, do you? Cooked in the vacuums of space. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, we've been there. Space. Baka. Um, space vacuum. Barakma. <laughs> Baraka Omo. Barakma. Barack Obama. I should... That was a bad joke. I should not have said that. Sorry. It's just... I mean, everything about this is a bad joke. Wait, colony ship! Pff, fucking wrong Sto map. Story of my life. It was a bad joke. Well, that's pretty much Brumach's life, too. He, he, he likes to quote a, a song lyric, which is, I started a joke, and like, yeah, your life. The fact that it can't apparently he doesn't he doesn't think it can be a joke necessarily because he agrees with it. I started a joke. <laughs> uh, monthly gain, well, I, I no food gain. Oh, that's not good. Hey, what? I have negative. You have gain. no food gain. Mine's at zero. I need to do something about that before it goes into the red. Holy fucking shit. Um. Okay. Hmm. I'll just get a ton of bonuses for a little bit of influence. I'll accept it. Wow, I have a lot of defensive armies. Jesus. How did that happen? Magic. The Gathering. <laughs> no, space magic. And yes, I understood what you were referring to. Space magic together. So, psionics. Japonics form. Let's go with that. No. No, no, I am not giving you anything. Nope. <laughs> what did Brumak nope, ask you for something? I gave Club him food. Minerals. He said he needs food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ask me for 12 minerals, I believe. Just 12? <laughs> I'm sipping a Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> he just, just asked 12. for 12? <laughs> uh, I think it was 12 per month, I, I think it was 12 per month. Honestly, even I even if it was just 12. Honestly, I wouldn't put it past bad. him just asking for a flat 12 minerals. <laughs> just how, like here, all, all, all I want is some table scraps. Oh, fuck. Just, just 12 minerals. <laughs> I required 12 minerals. Oh. We've encountered uh, the Kappa aliens. Okay. The Kappa aliens. Love them. They're Kappa Phi. Research complete. Oh. Research complete. Nice. I was about to say something. Oh, yeah, of course, yes. I'm researching administrative AI. Oh, well, yeah. I. I considered AI. going for that. AI. Yeah, yes. AI. No, I, uh, yes, yes. I don't think I'm going any, I don't think I'm going any dangerous tech specifically though. Nah, not yet. It, 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 the game will tell you what's dangerous yeah, or mm -hmm. not. The technology tab, it, it's bright red. Yeah. You will see mm -hmm. it. I think like the, uh, I think Android technology is considered extremely dangerous, I believe. Yeah. Something like sentient AI as well as uh, red technology, I think. Okay, so I should probably look at look at my ships actually. Ship designer, ship designer. Okay, hello. Probe recovered. No. Updating map. Star charts. Active sensor. Just making sure you weren't giving me anything. I mean, well, I'll make sure you weren't making give you anything. Uh, Lambda aliens. Oh, okay, great. We're fucking aliens. Who would have thought there'd be so many aliens in space? Uh, isn't that the question? <laughs> no, I mean, isn't that the question we are giving? We are saying right now, why aren't there any aliens in space? Why haven't anyone heard us right now? After all the radio signals we have sent out, after everything. Well, as long as after those take to. Everything we have observed, observed and all that. As long as those take to put out, and considering how long life took to appear on Earth, it's. 
what, what, what was the name for the like the um damn it there's a I don't know if it's a theory but more like a model or a question like uh if we have we, we haven't heard from alien life yet it's either because there are no aliens like we're all alone in the universe or possibly that uh loud aliens are destroyed which um, uh, Greg Bear actually used the basis for a novel where the human race... Yeah, I've heard about that. It's unlikely, though. Yeah, it, it's still, a, it's still a kind of a scary notion, which was why it made The Forge of uh, God such an interesting story, is loud aliens like humans are eventually wiped out by an ancient xenophobic species who just happened to get there early enough. Uh, so let's save that. Uh, after we have the Vivisandi Republic. You too, eh? I represent the Vivisandi Republic. Republic. Uh, that. Our elected leader, Commissary General, Commissary General Iris Maple. What? What? Commissary Wait, General Iris Maple <laughs> hopes for peaceful relations. Motherfucker, nothing that looks like you should have the name Iris Maple. You are horrifying. What does it look like? It, it's it's a fucking like cactus with a mouth and a long neck. <laughs> My name is Iris Maple. Aren't I pretty? Hopes for peaceful peaceful relations with your people, but know that we are more than capable of defending our way of life. Yeah, we touch you, you stick with you, stick into us, and then. And he hopes for peaceful relations, and now we're a rival. Fuck off. Isn't that magical? Yeah, his fucking friendship is magic. <laughs> Negative balance. Oh, fuck you, Brumach. What did I do? Are you, what do you, you need? Him in the gym? There goes my energy, yep. Negative. That's exactly why I'm not accepting anything he sends my way. Although the funny thing is, it's negative zero. Well, then you're good for a while. I'm at negative one. <laughs> I don't understand how that happens. Negative zero. The encouraging star is neutron star. Okay. Right, so I need more energy. Um, I should have... Yeah, so more of my power plants here are currently awaiting upgrades. You and you. That should hopefully give me a little bit of a boost. Yeah, I'm already back up to. Well, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm up, down to negative one now. I am very close to finishing the they discovery. Down discovery to edition three. I will unlock my first ascension perk. I am waiting on more uh, unity. I am waiting for two more months. For you ask what? I'm colonizing a planet. We're not asking what. Don't care. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say to you. Space Hitler. Why is that star purple? Yeah, <laughs> my throat itches. <laughs> it's annoying. Alright, hang hang off one second. <laughs> okay. You didn't make a funny sound. It was supposed to make a funny sound. Situation log updated. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Ow, it hurts. I guess, but I have seven of Guys, this is exactly why you aren't getting anything above the two digit numbers in views. <sighs> Pretty much. Yeah. Hey, I heard you need things. Communications established with the administration of Miria. Uh, Mr. Miria, we're a democratic nation committed to upholding the individual freedoms of our citizens in a galaxy full of alien horrors. Our leader, President Kui Tan. Kui Tan? <laughs> what are you doing? Kui Tan? <laughs> I recognize that fucking term. 
<laughs> we all recognize that fucking term. You are not a Kui Tan! I don't know what that is. I played one! I just revealed something horrible about, my, horrible about myself. Okay, trade deal offer. Thank you. Non aggression patch with oh Iris Maple here. You did you declared me your rival, you Democratic Crusader? Fine. I don't want to fight you. No. Oh. Basic combat rolls, nice. System survey complete. Because in a second I'm go. Oh, that's you. Okay, I want you. Not you. I want you to go here and colonize this planet. Colonize planet. And go here. Um. Hmm. Level up, good enough. Wait, so benevolence is mutually exclusive with purity, and purity is mutually exclusive with benevolence. That means I can go malice and benevolence at the same time. Is that a bit of a contradiction? You can be maliciously benevolent. Now explain that. In short, you don't have an explanation for that, do you, Ed? I don't have an explanation for money from anything. So... I like life that way. <laughs> oh. How do you? Give me wished on a dragon scale, not sorry, dragon tails. Okay, so we currently have, he said I've found, the administration of Myria, the Imperium of Jua Waktra. Oh, that's a feudal realm thing. The Lalarobia civilization overgrowth with the, the Pithuk Stars Coalition Vom and Severance in the Vivid Sandy Republic. I have not yet it's met the Imperial Alliance. After successfully translating the language, we have contacted the Galactic Uberic Union. Oh, hello, you ugly motherfucker. Greetings from the Galactic Uberic Union, Chancellor Gufer. Oh, fuck off. Wait, wait, go fuck off! What? What? Uh, green, uh. Is our elected representative in truth? All citizens have a voice in our government. We strive to better ourselves. Uh, sure. We, long, we no longer have an interest to maintain this non aggression pact. You literally just opened it and now you're revoking it? What the fuck is wrong with you, you cactus motherfucker? Is Iris Maple having a bad day? He's a bad day every day with that fucking face. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Thank you. I'm right, like, at the very goddamn corner of the galaxy. <laughs> like, literally, I'm going to be the first one that's going to be hit that by the fucking Tyranids. <laughs> Colonization in progress. Well, better they eat you first than the orcs. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. 
Well, while they're nomming on you and not improving themselves vastly by eating the fucking orcs, we'll run. We shall go to Andromeda. Now more than ever, we need, now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. I'm going to research biology. I'm going to take some Tyranids. I'm going to fucking evolve them, and I'm going to send them your way. You're gonna evolve them like a Pokemon? Yes. I'm going to turn the fucking high fleet into Pokemons. <laughs> oh god. Tyranid, Tira! Chimchanga! <laughs> god damn it. Mm. Oh, what time is it? Hey, let me check the fucking clock. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. That's probably good enough for this episode. I don't want to go on too long. So, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next episode. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs>